and we've started a live broadcast. So hopefully somebody's out there watching. We're backstage at the Beausal in Viert. This is the last show of our tour that's been going on uh, since we were uh, on the boat. So the longest tour Taiketo's done in a long time. We're going to just uh, go around and just sort of do round robin and say hi and... Hello, Jed! Hello, everybody in Facebook land. Tell us about the tour. What are, you, what are your thoughts? Um, for me, it's been... It's actually been the best tour I have done... Well, ever. Uh, everyone's been great. Everyone's got on well. The venues have been great. The bands we've toured with have been superb. And a special mention for Mr. Matt Jenkins, without whom all of this wouldn't have been possible. Hurrah for Hurrah! Matt Jenkins! Hurrah! <laughs> Excellent. Over here, in a massive cable tension, we have Mr. Johnny D. Hello, everyone. Tell us about your experience as your first tour behind the throne yeah, of Taiketo. A bit nervous at first, but uh, been welcomed spectacularly by everyone in the band and the fans, and all the gigs have been great and getting better progressively through the tour. And yeah, it's uh, I knew it would be a family vibe, and that made me sort of feel better and relax a bit. And uh, yeah, can't say I've been disappointed at all it's really been a fun run a long one and uh, uh yeah just an awesome time so thanks to all who have come to the shows and uh look forward to doing it more and has there been some comedy on the show uh, no <laughs> none no, no very it's, serious uh, it's terrible it's, oh. uh, nobody has any humor oh. yeah. it is a shame uh, yeah, yeah. So, speaking of which We'll go pan right to our stalwart basis, this is Ist, Mr. Chris Childs. This Hello. is not your first run with Taiketo, so... It isn't, but it's the first one for a while. And what are your thoughts? It's been absolutely cracking. It, it exceeded all of my expectations. I mean, uh, prior to this uh, tour, I, I met Johnny once or a couple of times. I hadn't met Harry, and I'd certainly never heard him playing. We'd certainly never played together, but they just drop right in and sound fantastic. It's been absolutely brilliant. Audiences have been fantastic. The turnouts, the response, and uh, obviously the boys in FM and the boys in Dare have all been great. It's been brilliant. Loved it. There you go. Now, once again, to a new face. All right, Harry Scott Elliott on Hello, the mate. guitar. Your first time sitting in, I, it was, I forget which show it was, he turned to me and said, I've been waiting for this since I was six years old. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about your thoughts now that now that you've completed a decent length run. Well, I keep telling uh, Danny, Gary? Gary. 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 Gary's the name of the toy. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> telling Danny that it just uh, hasn't sunk in. I don't think I ever will, to be honest. It's been um, one hell of a ride, and it's gone so quick now you think about it. Um, but yeah, everyone's welcomed me in with open arms. And uh, it just feels fantastic, and it's just, you know, it hits me there. It's great. It's just what a great opportunity for me, and I thank everyone in Taikado so much, and fans. So thank you so much. Brilliant. Would you mind taking over the camera duties? Certainly can. So you can see me ugly mug. All right, so... Have a great show. Thank, thank you very much. much. Yeah, yes, we're getting ready. ready. So everybody wants us to have a great show. <laughs> um, yeah, so the European run in particular is... is uh, a big one for us because it's the first time on our own in a while. With the exception, of course, of saying that we have our friends Wildheart on tour with us, a Belgian band that has been proving their worth night after night. They've really whipped the audience up and done a great job, and they're great guys to tour with. So we've been very, very pleased to have them. Um, and as you've heard, everybody's been getting along great. You never know when you put something new together like this. That was sort of at the beginning of the idea of touring. Those are my two fears. One was, it's been three years. Do I still have what it takes to do this? And what will the new lineup feel like amongst the band? Will it work? And will it be accepted by the audience? It's a big change. And I'm really, really happy to say that because the band delivers on all cylinders every night, the reactions have just been wonderful. Everyone, as Harry said, has been very accepting. And, you know, 
Michael and Chris are missed in a personal sense, but the band is as strong as ever in this setup. So that's answered a lot of questions about what's going to happen next. Um, as some of you know, some things have been announced already. Hard Rock Hell in November, Planet Rockstock in December. There are going to be some more UK dates around uh, the end of November, beginning of December, which we'll get into. We're playing Rock of Ages in July. Um, I'm going to Brazil in August. So there's a lot of things happening and we're just starting to talk about next year and also once again there's certainly people that have been putting on the pressure about a new album. Now I can't say I've written anything specifically yet but again now that we know that we have a band and a band that can really be cohesive and do it and do it right we'll start talking about songs and uh, no promises but fingers crossed there's a lot of things coming in the new year so thank you everybody who's turned out for all these shows. Come and see us again in the UK in November and December, and we'll keep you posted on all the good stuff that's been going on. And for that, we say thank you very much. Hand you back. All right. Take him on stage. Take him on stage. You show him the chaos. Well, uh, we've got time yet, so I could go back on live. Let's have a look. Is there folks out there to look at? Let's see. So this is the backstage of the Beausal, which has changed a lot. And here are the gentlemen from Wild Heart who have just kicked ass once again this evening. Say hello to Facebook land. Hello, Facebook land. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, how are ya? We're going to have a quick look from behind. There's Johnny D doing what he does, getting things ready. Matt Jenkins is taking care of everything else. Chris is checking his base. And I'm just going to go here and give you a little bit of a bird's eye view. I'd say we got about 300 folks in tonight, which ain't bad at all at all. And they're Dutch, so you can hear them talking a lot. But hey, it's a rock and roll show after all, so. There you go. Last show of the tour. Unbelievable. <laughs> so that's it, last show of the tour, and we are ready. Say goodbye, Jed.